you ever find yourself in a situation where someone is venting to you and you want to be nice, but you also want to get back to work? Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, and I'm here with three quick lines that you can pull out of your back pocket anytime someone's venting and you need to move along. The first scenario is one where someone is venting to you how they feel and they're telling you everything that's wrong and everything they're worried about and what's not working, but they're not doing anything to talk about what would actually make it better. In this case, the simple little line is just, what do you need? And what do you need is amazing because it causes them to go, oh, what do I need? <laughs> what would make things better? The second scenario is a scenario where they're talking about the past and they're going on and on about the wrongs and injustices from 2007 <laughs> since the beginning of time. And in this case, they're stuck. They're stuck thinking about everything that's come before. The line in this case is just, where from here? Where from here is a magical line uh, that doesn't debate what happened. You're not saying it's true or not true. You're not taking sides in some past argument, but you're just helping the person figure out, all right, but where do we go from today? And the third line is one for when people are going on and on and about, well, but this, but, 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 they're giving you all the excuses and the reasons why something won't work or why they can't move forward. And you need to get them unstuck and onto something that they can actually do to make progress. And in this case, the line is just, what do we still need to solve for? Or even shorter than that, just what's left? So we've solved for this and this and this, what's left? And what's left, again, is a way to say, okay, stop talking about what's not gonna work. Tell us what we still have to solve for to be able to move forward. So each of these lines uh, has the same idea behind it. One, not to invalidate or argue with someone who feels like they need to vent or feels like they're you know, not in a winning situation. Don't fight with them. Don't disagree with them. That's going to feel invalidating and only going to make their um, frustration bigger and longer. It also, another thing that you're trying to do, first of all, keeping it short is, is key because we don't want to use a lot of words and, and create a lot of defensiveness, just short little lines. Another thing that we're doing with each of these techniques is making darn sure that you are not taking accountability for those problems onto yourself. These are not your problems to solve. So it's very helpful to use these lines, what do you need, which is not saying, what can I do, but what do you need? And where from here, these sorts of lines are really helpful for making sure you don't take accountability. So these are great back pocket lines to pull out when somebody's venting to you and you wanna be a good teammate, but you also want to move things along. All right, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, here to help you get the team that you deserve.